Welcome to Wagner Classic Oil. In the next short video clip, we will show you how we can repair and refinish an extremely rusted and leaking fuel tank. For refinishing, we chose a 10 liter fuel tank that has completely rusted through at hundreds of spots. This extremely pitted tank is very difficult to refinish since the rust has to be removed both from the inside and the outside. First, we will take a close look at the condition of the tank. Remove the filler cap, fuel drain, and other mounting parts. Badly rusted or dirty tanks must be cleaned by mechanical means before the rust converting process. In addition to rust scaling and flaking rust, old tanks frequently also contain rubber-like and gummy deposits from old oil, grease, or fuel residue. These must be removed during preliminary cleaning. A concrete mixer, lathe, or homemade apparatus or device can be ideal aids for this step. Fill the tank with a few handfuls of sharp material, such as pointed screws or broken safety glass, and then rotate the tank to remove the rust. It is not necessary to remove all rust through physical means. The rust converter will do the rest. In this case, the tank has to be completely submerged since it cannot be filled to the top with a mixture of rust converter and water. Wagner concentrated rust converter must be mixed with water in a ratio between 1 to 30 and 1 to 60, depending on the volume of the tank or the size of the container used for immersing the tank. The tank must remain in the rust converter water bath until all surfaces have been stripped to the bare metal. For tanks without leaks, fill the tank with the rust converter water mixture and leave the mixture in the tank until the deepest rust pores have been stripped to the bare metal. If the tank does not leak, then you only have to fill the inside of the tank with rust converter water mixture. The rust removal process can take from one day to one week, depending on how deep the rust has penetrated. After the rust has been removed, the tank must be cleaned thoroughly with acetone. All rust particles, deposits, and liquid rust remover still in the tank must be removed. After cleaning, make sure that the surface of the tank is clean and dry and that there is no oily film. If this is not the case, you need to repeat the cleaning process. Do not allow loosened residue and rust particles to dry in the tank. To prepare for sealing, tape all holes with duct tape. If your tank only has hairline cracks or small leaks at the seams or the bottommost areas of the tank, the coating can also be applied with a brush from the outside after the paint has been stripped from the surface. Sealing the tank with Wagner single component resin. Before sealing the tank, all tank openings must be carefully closed. Using a suitable amount of resin for the size of the tank, shake and rock the tank until all inner surfaces especially any splash plates and baffles are completely coated with Wagner single component tank sealing resin. After all components are coated, remove any tank sealing resin remaining in the tank. Since our tank is extremely pitted, the coating should be applied up to four times. Two coatings are sufficient for tanks that are not damaged or leaking. Depending on the ambient temperature, you must wait 12 to 24 hours before the next coating. In our case, the tank sealing resin can also be applied to the damaged area from outside the tank. We recommend a repeated application in this case. In the non-visible area of the tank, or in the case of tanks with very little remaining structural integrity, it is also possible to incorporate a fiberglass mat to improve the stability of the tank. After a light sanding of the dried resin, the tank can be primed and painted. Please note that our single component resin is not UV resistant and will become discolored if no finishing coat is applied. Spot repairs can be done with a cotton swab or small brush at all openings such as fuel gauges, pumps, filler necks, or fuel drains. Our tank sealing resin is transparent since pigment particles would weaken the coating. Our material is designed for excellent adhesion to the metal and is highly elastic, as confirmed by the bending test. One must be aware that tanks exposed to direct sunlight are prone to extreme thermal expansion. The coating must be able to withstand this expansion. Elasticity is also necessary in the situation if the tank is dented. The tank coating must be able to resist dents without becoming brittle or cracking. 
Wagner Tank Sealing Resin meets all of these requirements. The following refinishing sets are available for tanks of different sizes. Kits for motorcycle tanks up to 10 liters. Sets for motorcycle tanks and small cars or equipment tanks up to 30 liters. Sets for car tanks and agricultural machines and tractors up to 80 liters. Every tank sealing kit includes detailed instructions describing each step. This guide is intended to give you only a brief introduction to tank refinishing. Of course, it is a very complex process. You probably still have many questions. For further information, please visit our website, www.tanksealing.com. We will also be more than happy to assist by phone.